Privacy is on everyone's mind these days. We're hearing it pop up in all different places, from privacy from other countries and foreign countries trying to you know, get into people's data, recent news about TikTok and being banned in, from the United States, and also more importantly, what's being shared from your phone, your personal device, to other companies like Facebook or Instagram. WhatsApp and so many more. And I noticed I just mentioned three Facebook companies. <laughs> but the reality is, is that what we care most about is what we are being shared and what we have on our devices since it's such a part of us that it's not doesn't get into the hands of bad people, right? Hackers and people with malicious intent. And so over the years, I've tried a lot of different resources. And it's interesting enough, by the way, I... I'm a big advocate of privacy and I'm a big advocate of, you know, knocking out the hackers. That's one of the main reasons why I switched from uh, Android devices. I used to be a big Samsung, uh, you know, uh, buyer and believer, and I switched everything to Apple simply because of the Android platform. Um, nothing, no hit on Google. It's just they need better privacy, uh, you know, uh, apps, uh, you know, features built into their thing. And then it's just, it's unfortunate. So I made the switch. And if you haven't noticed by now, I'm pretty much Apple everything. You can check out my studio tour and you'll see a lot of the Apple products that I have. I'll leave those links in the description. Um, and also, I talk about you know privacy and, and avoiding hackers by protecting your passwords. I'll put a link right there in the i icon, uh, the information icon, where you can learn and see that video I did about privacy and protecting your passwords, which is really important. So, when it comes down to privacy online, whether it's your email or social media, I went on the hunt to find a really good app, and I found one. I actually found one through as I was combing through Forbes magazine, uh, and I want to introduce you to this app called Jumbo, not bum Bimbo, not Bombo. What was that? What was that famous elephant? Bimbo, Bombo? I forgot. But this is called Jumbo, and it also has a mascot uh, of an elephant. So here is the main website. Now there isn't much to the main website. The main website is JumboPrivacy.com. I'll put, also put a link in the description, and then you can download the app both for App Store, Apple App Store, and um, Google Download, Google Play Store. Um, not much to the website, but basically you can learn more a lot about the app right from the um, download section of the App Store. So they're all about privacy and security, and it, I loved how they talk about take control of your privacy and data. Um, they've gotten a lot of you know great reviews from some you know big media houses. Uh, you can actually find and discover what is being tracked about you. It actually tells you, you to buy the application, the features that you have turned on. It will tell you, hey, this is actually turned on right now. Do you want to keep this setting? You can also monitor your credit card, your social security number, or any passwords if they've been shared on the dark web. And you can also delete data collected by Google and Facebook, which is a feature that I absolutely love because what I've actually done is I've set an auto delete to all my Facebook posts and all to my messenger. It, it's so great. So I, you can you can time it from as early as one month to I think as much as 24 months. And so anything older than that, it automatically deletes. You can also archive all your uh, old posts if you don't want to use it anymore. What I ended up doing with my Twitter account was I archived all the posts and uh, I saved it and then archived it within the app. And then you can also export that data. And then I wiped out the entire Twitter. This is just something I don't use it. I have it, but it's there, but I don't use it currently. And I don't think I'll be using it anytime soon, but at least I reserved the username. Um, and, and that's just part of my effort of, you know, going minimal on social media. And here's some of the things that uh, I mentioned about earlier, what was some of the, you know, mass media has talked about. Um, here's what, what, uh, what we don't do. They never collect your data because our technology does the scanning right from your phone, your iPhone. Your data is never stored on our servers, which means there's nothing to share or sell to third parties, which I really liked. I mean, that's, again, if you're going to give a privacy app, app you know, uh, access to your accounts, are they seeing that data? Are they, do they have access? And that's what I liked about Jumbo. There's other services that do uh, have access. Jumbo says no, they don't give you that, they don't take that access. 
So one of the things that you're gonna get more increased security on is from your Google account, your Facebook account, any social media accounts. Um, there are many uh, social media accounts and other services you can connect with. And also you can delete uh, old posts from Twitter. You can remove old Facebook posts. So by the way, if you want to delete something from like eight years ago, you know, I believe people change. People go through phases in life. So maybe there's parts of your life that you are not like who you are today. And maybe you're looking to progress into a new job or, you know, whatever. Maybe you're taking on a new entrepreneurial position in life and your viewpoints have changed, right? I mean, that happens in life. People change over time. So maybe you want the old you to be to, to go away or to disappear. Maybe that's just what you want to do in life, okay? You can do that through here. Um, you can delete old vo voice recordings from Alexa. You can remove old photos from uh, Instagram. You can turn off Facebook's recognition, facial recognition feature. You can limit Google's use of your search history. Some people want that. I mean, I think this is a big one. Limit ads that follow you around, also known as retargeting. This is huge, especially on Android devices. This is huge. If you wanna stop ads from popping up, this is a great software, really great. Avoid third parties from collecting and selling your data without your consent. Limit location tracking by Google or Facebook. Coming soon, we're gonna have hide your IP from your ISP apps and websites. I mean, this goes on and on. Let's break down the pricing. Let's talk about pricing. So you can have the plus uh, features reoccurring at $2.99 a month, or you can have the monthly reoccurring at $8.99 a month. Now, I think right now I'm on the pro, but that was in the beginning, like, you know, what I was trying to like uh, eliminate. But I think I can actually downgrade right now. I don't even think I need all those features because I've actually eliminated a lot of the services. I was like pretty much testing it out. So I went with the full capacity to try it all out and see what's possible uh, with the app. And uh, at this point, I, I don't think I even need the pro features anymore. Uh, the Verge has this to say, Jumbo is a powerful privacy assistant for iOS that cleans up your social profiles. So a little little you know view of what it looks like, a single app for all your privacy needs. So you can have like Twitter, Facebook, Google search, you can actually toggle, turn it on, turn it off. Jumbo, please clean, Jumbo, please clean my tweets that are older than one day, one week, one month, three months, and you can set this up all customized if you want to. It's really nice. Here's another, um, you know, privacy, set my privacy to weak, medium, or strong which is really nice. You know, you can you can toggle those features. Um, and what here's a quote from them. We're trying to be a third party um, who works on behalf to help you simplify and make decisions about a complex system of privacy. So The Verge put out a very, and I'll, I'll post this link uh, to this article right here in the description. Um, but Jumbo is a, a really great app and service where, you know, it, another. I mean, there's even more great features uh, to this app, by the way, that I, I haven't mentioned. So if you, if you use two, um, two part uh, verification, you know, where you like get an SMS or you get a code, a special code, um, they actually have built in that built into this to the software as well. So I'll give you an example. I don't know if you can see this, but this is my vault. I should probably just connect my phone. I should probably should have done that, right? <laughs> um, but basically what, what you can see here is you can see my two factor code authorization. I don't know if that's a good idea to post it. Yeah, it doesn't matter, it refreshes. So uh, two factor codes, if you need them, it has that feature built in. It also, you can see my archives. It shows over 2000 post tweets that have been um, t archived, so they're no longer on Twitter. And then Facebook posts, over 5,000. And actually it shows them all by date, right? And I can either choose to keep it or delete it. So, it, and then you can export it if you wanted to. So it's, it's really great and it gives you up to date, you know, what's been happening. It's constantly scanning your accounts for like what's taking place uh, in your accounts and is everything is everything safe. So that's really cool. One, another great feature I really like, it shows like, see right here, it says Jumbo Pro, which I don't have anymore. I did have it for one month. I tried it and I really enjoyed it. Um, and then uh, and then another thing is Jumbo Plus, which I'm currently subscribed to. But then also you can cancel at any time and you can pay what you think is fair, which I really like that. I love apps that are doing, you know, pay what you think is fair, pay how much, you know, you want to contribute. And sometimes people like contribute. I found even, I contribute even more than what they actually ask for because they deliver such a great service. And that's what I really think, you know, true value to the marketplace is really all about. If you can deliver great, you know, value to the marketplace, 
then it's a really great thing to uh, you know to donate and help. I hate free apps because free apps they obviously have to monetize themselves. Free software they have to make money. They have to pay developers. They have to pay for growth and maintenance. Um, so anything free, uh, just know that when when there's an app saying hey it's free, yeah free to you up front, but maybe you know as we've seen for example, Facebook is free, but what do they do? They monetize by selling data, right? Same thing with Google, free, but they monetize by selling data. So anytime there's more of a free um, service, just know that they're monetizing that in some way. They have to in order to build a sustainable business. So that's the give and take that uh, people will just have to, to deal with or live with. Jumbo helps you protect your data from being used maliciously or in ways that you don't want. So I highly recommend you check them out and start using them and also if you're already currently using them or you end up using this app and you like the features just come back and let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear your take on it and if it's helped you i also wanted to remind you to like this video to help the youtube algorithm uh you know share this video with more people who are looking to protect their privacy and take back that, their data um, but also when you do that it also helps increase the youtube revenue and I, I don't know if you heard recently but we recently started donating all our youtube revenue to our efforts in uganda if you want to learn more about that here's just a quick video right here.